Hi again guys, it's John here from DesireFanatics.com um, Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, flash a new ROM to your phone so in my previous video I showed you how to actually get your phone into an S off mode and also root it so now you're probably going to want to uh, install a custom ROM this is what you're going to need obviously you're going to need your HTC Desire S phone you're probably going to need a cup of coffee and the other thing you're going to need is an app called Clockwork Mod and um, you can download this from the market um, and it comes up here as ROM Manager so the ROM Manager um, actually installs the Clockwork, sorry, Clockwork Mod Recovery system onto the phone so you want to get a, sorry, you're going to want to install that first by clicking on here that will download off the internet and install to your phone and then it will let you reboot into the recovery mode and from there you can you know, start putting your new ROMs on. The other good thing about the ROM manager program is you can just download ROMs from the actual application itself. So if we click here, it will get a list of the current ROMs available, the official current ROMs for the Desire S, and um, you can go from there. So the one I'm going to be trying today is the Saga LBC mod, which is uh, quite a popular one, as I've seen and um, we'll see what it looks like. So the 0.54 was actually just an update patch uh, for 0.53 so if we click on here we're going to probably have a better experience with that. So here we go that's 350 megabytes let's give that a go. We're going to select here that we want the keyboard without arrows because um, Obviously we don't have a keypad on this phone. Excuse the noise. So this will take some time. So I will skip to when it's nearly finished and um, we'll go from there. So now it's going to give us an option to um, back up the existing ROM, wipe data and clear the cache, and wipe the Dalvik cache. <coughs> Excuse me. So those are some things you may not have heard of before. Um, you will want to back up your existing ROM if you haven't already. Um, so we're going to tick that. We're going to wipe and clear the data and cache. This just basically formats everything and just makes it clean. And also the Dalwick cache needs to be cleared as well for best performance. So we're going to click OK on all those. Press OK here. And it's now going to reboot into recovery mode. Now while this is rebooting I suggest you start drinking your coffee. If you haven't got coffee you can always have tea. Green tea is, is usable but uh, not, not as preferable. So here we go, this is backing up the ROM currently. Um, it saves it all to your SD card so if anything does go wrong you can always restore your previous ROM. Now obviously I had the, the official T-Mobile ROM on there at the moment and um, if I ever did want to go back to to it for some strange reason than I can do. So you can see this takes quite a lot of pain out of the um, ROM uh, process as it seems to, you know, d it does everything for you so you can't really make a huge mistake here. So I'm just going to skip forward a bit now because um, you don't really want to see my whole ROM get backed up. It, it takes about three or four minutes but um, I'll skip to the, the interesting bits. Okay, so once it's finished doing that, it uh, will format the cache partition or the cache directory and um, the data as well. And now it's going to start installing the ROM. Okay, so here we see the new ROM loading up. It's quite fancy by the look of it. So, once we've finished loading, we'll get the... Uh, rather hideous looking background here but uh, obviously we can tell that it is has certainly installed the actual ROM. So let's now just go into the settings and just see if we've got the correct ROM now. Yeah, 0.53 so we can now run the 0.54 update on top but um, I won't worry about that just at the moment but as you can see certainly in the lists we've got the green scrolling thing we've got Let's have a look down the apps. Yeah, the T-Mobile software has gone. We've got Titanium Backup as standard and CP user. So yeah, this is the actual uh, proper ROM now, which I'm uh, a bit happier about. 
So, as you can see, it's not too difficult to um, to put a new ROM on. You just got to make sure you choose the right one. Um, so the obviously this is uh, proving here that the the weather feature is working. Got some uh, nice sounds there, but um, yeah, I'll have a play with it and let you know what I think at some point. But um, so far, so good, I'd say. So, hopefully you've uh, been able to follow that okay. If not, uh, be sure to ask any questions in the comments below and subscribe for any more videos that I may put on. Until next time, see you later.